Any amount received from provident fund which is provided fund at 1925 will apply for uh, fully exempt from taxation. Recognized uh, provident fund under the income of taxation. In the case of recognized provident fund, following shall be include the income of employee uh, income of the employee in the um, every tax year in the uh, income ordinance 2001 uh, contribution made by employer uh, less than less lower for of one tenth of the salary is one lakh fifty thousand and uh, interest credit on the balance of provident fund less uh, higher of one by third of salary basic salary plus uh, dearness loans Unrecognized provident fund under the income tax ordinance 2001. The unrecognized provident fund is the form which is neither recognized nor uh, statutory income of the uh, of that said provident fund is taxable to the extent definition from provident fund and other the fund of the extent to which the amount is not uh, repayment of contribution made by employee of the fund in the respect of which the employee was not entitled to a deduction fully fixed are evident uh, uh, from the above number one is the employee contribution already taxed by include in the employee gross salary income over interest thereon is the total taxable in the hand of employer and next one is the second one is, uh, no tax shall be charged on the amount contribution by the employer and interest uh, thereon because the uh, same are taxable in the receipt of accumulated balance due to offset section and non coverage of the same under the case of uh, or, uh, income ordinance 2001 Next page we have a small chart in which they have told us about the position of various provident, uh, provident fund uh, various positions are uh, uh, particular uh, employer contribution and interest credit for the year payment of accumulated um, balance and after recognized provident fund and recognized, uh, recognized provident fund or um, provident Fund form under the Provident Fund Act 1925. This is the table. You can see the next is exemptions under the various section of the Income Ordinance 2001. These exemptions are number one is the diplomatic and United Nations United Nation exemptions. And number one is the number uh, the amount of uh, the income of an individual entitled or privileges under the uh, diplomatic consular shall be exempt from the tax under this ordinance to extend the provident fund. Next, next one is that the amount of an individual entitled privileges under the uh, United Nations shall be exempt from the tax under this ordinance to the uh, extent provided fund uh, in the act. Next one is the pension of United Nation employees. Any uh, any pension received by a person being citizen of Pakistan by virtue of the person and employee in the United Nation and its spe uh, specialized agencies under the international justice provided the uh, person salary for such employment was exempt under this ordinance tax 90, uh, 2001. Employ Second one is the foreign uh, government office officers officials. The employee of foreign government and the salary received by an employee of a foreign government as as for services of such government shall be exempt for tax 
under this ordinance pro, uh, provided by uh, number one the employee uh, is a citizen of the foreign country uh, or uh, and not a citizen of pakistan the services provided and uh, performed by the employee are of a character similar for those performers employed for the of the go federal government in foreign countries and third one is that the foreign government um, grant a similar exemption of employee of foreign government performance similar uh, services in such foreign country third point is the uh, exemption under the international agreement exemption uh, under the tax treaty any pakistan source income of uh, which pakistan is not permitted to tax under the tax treaty shall be from the tax under this ordinance so Sal uh, salary income under this under an aid agreement any salary received by individual shall be exempt from the ordinance of the extended provision for an aid, uh, aid agreement between the federal government and the and a foreign government or public international organization uh, fourth point is the president honor allowance attached to the honor award etc the any allowance attached to of any honor award and medal award for uh, to a person of the pre President Pakistan shall be exempt from tax under this ordinance. Any mandatory award grant to the person by the President of Pakistan shall be exempt from this ordinance. Fifth one is the scholarship. Any scholarship grant to the person to, uh, person to meet the cost of person education shall be exempt tax under the ordinance that um, the, then where the scholarship is paid directly or indirectly associate. Sixth one is the foreign source income of short uh, short term resident individuals. Income of short and in, uh, short term resident is, uh, who is resident in Dubai uh, solely to see uh, to uh, by the reason of individual employee and the uh, who is a uh, present in Pakistan for the period or period not exceed the three year exempt from the tax year under this ordinance. Foreign source income of uh, returning expertise. any foreign source income uh, uh, derived by a person of pakistan in the tax year who is not resident in real any of the four tax year proceeding the tax year in which the individual become a resident shall be exempt for the tax year under this ordinance in this tax year in which the individual become resident individual and the and the following tax year the citizen of pakistan who leave pakistan uh, where the citizen of pakistan leave pakistan during a tax year or remain for uh, abroad during this tax year any income chargeable under the head salary earned by him outside of pakistan during this year shall be exempt from the under tax year this ordinance next one is the exemption uh, of total income under the part 1 of the second schedule of income tax ordinance 2001 is the sabse pehle ke salary of employee of institute of aga khan development network any income charge uh, under the salary, head salary received by person who is not citizen of pakistan and engaged any expert or technical professional scientific advisor and or consultant or senior management uh, staff by the institution of aga khan development network and uh, one, uh, next is the income of pakistani safaris any uh, any income uh, charge under the head of salary received by pakistani safaris worker on the foreign visa or pakistan flag visa uh, or for uh, 180 183 days and more than more duration uh, tax year provided that the such income is remitted to the pakistan not later the uh, later 10 to a 2 month of the relevant income year through the normal bank in channels next one the allowance and prerequisite of uh, uh, citizen of pakistan by the government any allowance is a prerequisite paid and allowed and uh, such outside pakistan outside pakistan by the government to the citizen of pakistan for the rendering services outside of pakistan next one is the uh, pension pension received by the citizen of pakistan is for the graduating 
leave in cash meant the uh, tax where the receive in the right of receive and exercises of employed leave uh, in cash meant the only exemption of the, the for the uh, member of uh, armed force of Pakistan or an employee of the federal government and provisional government for any sum representing in cash meant of leave um, preparatory is exemption. Next one is the uh, receive amount under the voluntary pension system. The, the accumulated balance up to 50% received for the voluntary pension system offered by the pension fund manager under the voluntary pension received in 2005 at the time of eligible person. Special allowance. Uh, and any special allowance is benefit for the uh, prerequisite of uh, the employee under the salary income, especially the grant to meet expenses wholly and necessarily incurred uh, in the performance of the uh, duties of the officer and employment of the profit other than the entertainment and con conveyance allowance. Medical treatment and reimbursement received and medical allowance for the full amount is exempted for the benefit given in the free medical treatment and hospitality both by the any employee of employee and reimbursement received by the employees of the medical charges and hospital charges or both which are uh, provision and reimbursement in, uh, in an uh, ordinance with the term of employment. Now, we chapter number uh, 7 in Shala complete. Ho gaya. Next, uh, last week, chapter number 8, some start. Karenge. Thank you.